Ministry for a while. I work for a thrift store called Brown Roof, some of you may know of. I've also worked for Burgess Enterprises, and I saw him in some, here somewhere today. He is. I've also worked in North Carolina as an executive pastor of a church. But as I've moved on from there, I'm now working as a mentor and an instructor with MPI, which is a local transitional ministry, and Think Smart, which is a program for teens at risk. Key number two, having and keeping a job. Key number one, daily surrender to Jesus Christ. Key number three, having a budget, financial goals. Listen, I have learned that a budget and financial goals provides the building block for a stable and secure future. When I was sitting in the reviews with William and his team as they would go through the reviews with all the participants, they're always asking the question, what are you doing with your money? Where are you spending your money? Are you saving your money? What are you doing with your money? And you know why? They understand that a budget and financial goals are the guardrails to help you and increase your success in the transition process. Budget and financial goals. That's your third key. My fourth key is this. Developing a support network. Surrounding yourself with people that are going to be your accountability partners. And if need be, like Proverbs said, they will wound you. Because faithful are the wounds of a friend. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Amen. These are people that are in my corner. That if need be, they will stand up and put their finger on my chest and say, Rob, I will take another look at that. I will really examine that again. Or maybe they'll just come alongside and encourage you and say, you know, you're doing well. They'll text, they'll call, they'll send an email, they'll reach out. And these are people that I consider wise counsel to go alongside and say, I got something that I'm dealing with. And I don't quite know how to handle it. And they're there for me. Key number four, development support network. And key number five, this is the one that has tempered me and kept me from becoming brittle and rigid. It's allowed me to bend in the winds of adversity and change. And that's having fun God's way. And as you saw in the video, I was like Frankenstein on roller skates. And I was doing good until a little three and a half year old dentist the man's cutting off. <laughs> I hit the floor like James Brown and did the split. And got out there like everything was all right. But there's other things that we do in my family and I. And I mentioned the budget, and I have to say this because this is important. We have a big jar that's about the size of a water bottle in our home. I painted it black to put on it family fun night. And that jar contains coins and dollar bills, maybe five or ten here. And what it is, is our budget for family fun night. That's how serious the budget piece is. We make room for it in our finances. And so let me recap for you. The key number one is daily surrender to Jesus Christ. Key number two, having a job and keeping a job. Key number three, establishing a budget and financial goals. Key number four, developing a support network. And key number five, having fun God's way. And these have brought about the discipline and direction in my life that is enabling me to stay on this side of Raise a Wild Fence. And you know what else? It's all because of, possible because of people like yourself. If you didn't do what you do, Jumpstart could do what they did, and they couldn't help people like me. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the